Star Trek time. All right, let's do this. So this thing starts and there's some dudes in a warp saucer. They're investigating a strange thing that seems to be heading for Earth. But before we can get to any of that, we get to see footage from the last movie. Seriously, how many times are they gonna do the same shtick? Dude, really? <laughs> yeah. So we see the crew of the Enterprise and they're still at the red place. Whoa, how does this Scottish dude keep gaining so much weight between movies? Maybe he's still eating his sadness away after the death of his nephew? Eh, must be. So the crew decides it's time to take their stolen ship and return to Earth. Meanwhile, the warp saucer we saw earlier meets up with the strange thing, and it turns out it's, uh, 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 what the hell is that? I don't know, but it looks like somebody glued a disco ball to a cylinder. So the warp saucer attempts to contact the disco cylinder. But it removes all their power. From there, it goes to Earth and starts making things go bad. Meanwhile, aboard the stolen ship, Kirk and pals get a message from Earth letting everyone know that things are not good. So Kirk decides to investigate. By listening to transmissions from the disco cylinder, the logical dude is able to figure out that it's trying to talk to whales. Specifically humpback whales, for some reason. That's crazy. Who would send a probe hundreds of light years to talk to a whale? That is a really good question that will never actually be answered in this movie. Realizing that humpback whales have gone extinct, they decide they have to go back in time. To do this, they have to fly around the sun at warp speed while experiencing a wicked acid trip. After their trip, they find themselves in San Francisco in the 1980s. Yeah, that happened to me once. When they reach Earth, they detect humpback whales in San Francisco. So, they go down to investigate. Crap. Most of the crew spend some time harassing random people, looking for the things that they need to transport the whales. While Kirk and the logic dude go looking for whales. And they find some in an aquarium. Wait, wait, what? No, that aquarium is not big enough for two full-grown humpback whales. Dude, just just go with it. <sighs> okay, so anyway, the logic dude dives into the tank to mind meld with the whales. This aggravates the mom from 7th Heaven. Wait, first the dad, now the mom. I swear, if I see one of the kids, I'm out. Kirk and the logic dude try to talk their way out of it. It doesn't really work. So Kirk ends up having to tell her he's from the future. She doesn't believe him at first, but then she does. Meanwhile, the rest of the crew have found what they need to transport the whales. Well, except for the Russian dude. Yeah, he kind of gets captured by some American soldiers who think he's a Russian spy. So he tries to escape. He doesn't do very well. Hey, As if things weren't bad enough, they release the whales back into the wild way ahead of schedule. And the crew has to save the Russian dude from the hands of 20th century medicine before they can save the whales. So they do. Now that they saved the Russian dude, they can go get the whales. Also, the mom from 7th Heaven tags along. It's a good thing they know for certain that she isn't the ancestor of anyone important. Wait, no they don't. Sh sh shut up. Yes, they do. So, anyway, they find the whales. But they're being hunted by whalers. Fortunately, the ship manages to save the whales without doing anything that could possibly adversely affect the timeline. Oh, maybe not. So, with the whales in the ship, they go back to the future. Returning just as they left. So Kirk and pals pilot the ship right back to Earth and release the whales back into the water. This means the whales can talk to the disco cylinder in a scene that really makes you wonder what they're saying. Here's our guess.
And so Kirk and Pals have saved the world. This of course means that they're cleared of all the charges that they accumulated last movie and are free to go. And as a reward, they get a new ship. The, the end. end. Well, that one was silly, and there were a lot of plot holes. Yeah, but it was still enjoyable. Uh, indeed. Is the next one any good? <laughs> Is that a yes?